How does my good lord handle it? Well, God of mercy. Do you know me, my lord? Excellent. Well, you are a fishmonger. Not I, my lord. Then I would you were so honest a man. Honest, my lord? Aye, sir. To be honest, as this world goes, is to be one man picked out of ten thousand. That's very true, my lord. For if the sun breed maggots in a dead dog, being a good kiss and carrion, have you a daughter? I have, my lord. Let her not walk in the sun. Conception is a blessing, but not as your daughter may conceive. Friend, look to it. How say you by that? Still harping on my daughter? Yet he knew me not, first I said, I was a fishmonger. I was far gone, far gone. And truly in my youth, I have suffered much extremity for my love. Very near this. I'll speak to him again. What do you read, my lord? Words, words, words. What is the matter, my lord? Between who? I mean the matter that you read, my lord. Slander, sir. For the satirical rogue says here that old men have gray beards, that their faces have wrinkled, and eyes purging thick amber and plum tree gum, and that they have a plentiful lack of wit, together with most weak hams, all which, sir, though I most powerfully and yet potently believe, yet I hold it not honestly to have it thus set down for yourself, sir, should be old as I am, if like a crab you could go backward. It must be madness, yet there is a method. In it, will you walk out of the air, my lord? Into my grave. Indeed, that is out of the air. How painless sometimes he replies are. A happiness that often madness hits on, which reason and sanity could not so prosperously, prosperously be delivered of. I will leave him and suddenly contrive the means of meeting him and my daughter, my honorable. Lord, I will most humbly take my leave of you. You cannot, sir, take from me anything that I will not more willingly part with all, except my life, except my life, except my life. Farewell, you, my lord. These tedious old fools! Yeah. <laughs>